and welcome to The Healthy Ho. I'm Monica Hope Ellers and this is Hit 40 Minutes. Uh, no jumping if you don't want, doesn't have to be intense, can be though, it can be very intense. So you're going to start with either a 3 pound, a 5 pound or up to an 8 pound weight. Be careful though. So um, I'll show you what this first movement looks like right now. I'll grab an 8 pound weight. So from the side, you're only going to do one side and then we'll do the other for the other 40 seconds. So you're going to lunge back, okay? And then like that, okay? So dun 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 dun. Kind of looks like a can can, doesn't it? All right. Be very controlled with this, okay? All right. So we're gonna get started, and don't worry. Again, you have four rounds of these. So let's go. All right. So we're gonna start with our right side. So you're gonna do this side first, right? Kick, woo! Down, so you bring your leg as far back as you can. So the right leg goes back as far as you can. You row, and then when you do a front raise, you don't go any higher than your um, shoulders. So this works abs, shoulders, back, butt. Works on balance, works the other glute. Okay, take it slow. Uh, uh, why did I think this was a good idea to do one side for 40 seconds? I don't know. All right, take a break. Oh, mama. So I'll do the other side. Hi, Jasmine. So glad you got on. Okay, so you're going to hear another beep. But again, I'll show you. Okay, you have five seconds to set up. Okay, here we go. So put your left leg back. <laughs> put your left foot in. I just can't help myself. Do the hokey pokey. Okay. Well, this hokey, this ho, key. Can you get hokey and pokey? I have free license to say that because, yes, my maiden name is Ho. Cool. And all the teasing I got. You just have to have a sense of humor. So yes, if I want to say I'm going to do the hokey pokey, guess what? Alright, take a break. Don't worry, we're coming back to that. Yo, next one. Side oblique crunch. I would probably take a lighter weight. Three pounds, five pounds. Start with your left or your right side. Okay, so it looks like this. Okay, if you want to, you can take both hands and grab it. Okay, but again, doing one side and one side only. I kind of, as I always say, I really like the slow, where you have to slow it down. Because that time under tension, uh, you're not basically letting go at any point of your tension. Right? You're constantly, the slower you move, the more you have to focus. So yes, it's great to run in place. It's run to, great to do high knees and jacks. We have a couple of, you have like one movement like that. But when you slow things down, you can probably feel it, right? When you're slowing things down. This is not about fast today. All right, take a break. So we'll get the other side. And again, you can take one hand like this if you're holding something lighter, like a one pound or a two pound, up to a three is fine. Okay, but if you have a five pounds, you're gonna hold it with two hands. So this is what it looks like with the one, like that. And if it's heavier, or you're just getting tired, you want to bring the weight to the outside of that knee. Not hard with one hand. And again, the whole thing can be done with that weight. So you don't have to use a weight, okay? But you have to use your arms. Woo, mama! You have 10 seconds. All right, take a break. Go 
Next side, squat twist. You can go heavier. All right. I'm grab my eight pound here. You squat, twist right, twist left. Look. Squat, twist right, twist left, come back up. Okay, you can also do it this way. Okay? You have to be careful with the goblet though. Right? You don't want to whack your kneecaps. So whatever works. Sit down, take your time, push through those glutes and up, down. And again, do you want to use no weights? Cool, don't, don't worry about it. Drop down. And up. Drop down. And up. Okay, take a little break. Next one, again, optional. Be very careful when you're doing this though. Reach up, 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 okay? Now you don't even have to do that. You can, do you see what I'm doing? I'm going side to side, up, side to side, up. <laughs> kind of all over the place. <laughs> all right, so I'll tell you what. Pass it off in your hand every time you squat. Okay, so that makes sense? Okay, maybe I should take my own advice. How about if you're going to the left, you put the weight in your left hand. <laughs> if you're going to the right, you put the weight in the right hand. Woo! <clears throat> and you can hold it up with Two hands or one. Take a break. That was a three pound weight there. I like those passes. Okay. Oh my God. Why? Why did I do this? Okay, you're gonna get down on the floor for a crab walk. Hands face where the feet are going. You're gonna go like that, lift your butt. Okay, walk it back. And when you feel like it, you are gonna come up Flip over and do a sit through. What? Uh huh. So let's practice these sit throughs, okay? So you're right here. You're hovering above the ground. You lift the right hand and the left leg. So it's a diagonal reach, okay? When you've had enough of those, flip back around, take your time. Butt is up. Fingertips facing towards your feet. And would you like to? It's kind of like bumper cars, right? Only there's no cars. Okay. <laughs> ah! <sighs> ah! <sighs> All right, done with that. Take a little break, get some water. Okay. Inchworm to push up. So grab your mats. Mm. When you get down there, you're going to do two push ups. Come back up, reach up or jump up. Okay, so look. Stick the butt back. Walk it forward, two push-ups, and back up. You can either reach or jump, but stick that butt back so you get that nice stretch in your hammies. Oh, I love that in the hammies. Come down as far as you can. Up. Okay, it's probably our last one here. Right now. Okay. Come on back up, get some water, take a take a. Okay, we're gonna kick the mat out of the way. I will show you the jumping version first, and then I will show you. Actually, I'll show you the other version, the non-impact. Arms up. Ice skaters. Up. Ice skaters. It's actually just easier to jump. But if you don't want to, okay. Arms up. Okay, so they're above your head. One, two. One, two. One, two. 
Lots of variations. Just find whatever works for you. Just make sure your arms are up and that you're whipping them down. All right, take a little break. Who else is on? Amy, good morning. How are you? Awesome to have you here. Everyone, thank you so much for showing up on a Sunday morning, huh? Okay. Oh my God, why? Why do I write these things? Bear crawls, watch. Hover, right? So it looks like this. What you're doing is you're on a diagonal, okay? So if your right hand's moving, your left knee is moving. So it looks like this. You can practice these if you want, but then you can go like that, and then back down. Now, if you want to be on your knees, cool. You're still crossing over in that diagonal, though. Does that make sense? So if your right hand is moving, your left knee's moving, okay? Still that cross crawl pattern. So good for the brain, okay? Moving side to side like this. It's so good for the brain. Great for the abs too, baby. And you don't have to keep standing up. All right, here we go. Done with that. Grab your weights, start all over again. Okay, so for this one again, you can go a little heavier, up to eight pounds, one weight though. Ooh. Here's what it looks like from the side. This is my right leg. I step back, do a row. Okay, same leg. When I bend the knees, I bend the elbows. That front raise, which is, okay, maybe I should do the movement first. That front raise, which is the last one right here, does not come higher than your shoulders. Great balancing, great for the abs, great for the supporting glute, so great for the left glute right now, great for the shoulders. Okay, so from the front it looks like this. Okay, take a break. You got the other side to do. Okay. You're gonna hear another beat, you still get that break. Again, I'll show you, now you're on the left side. You put the left leg back. Okay, let's go. Down. From the front, down. When you bend that knee, you bend those elbows, remember. Down, try to get that left leg as far back as you can. You work the abs that way. You're also taxing, probably don't even have to tell you because you can probably feel it, your right glute. Up. Okay, again. Don't worry, you have two more times to practice this. Two more rounds. Okay? I'm working on putting playlists in. If you have any requests, I'll make a playlist that you can listen to while you're doing this. All set. I'll listen too, but it'll be on my headset or the YouTube bots will get us. Side oblique. Again, I'm going to do it with one arm, okay? Take your right knee and bring it out to the side. Again, it doesn't even need look here. Here it is without any weight. And this is it with a weight. And this is it with two hands. Just make sure your right hand and right arm are coming to the outside of that right knee. Make sure your left foot is pointing left so you don't have any pressure, or less pressure anyway, on that left knee. What a great idea to split this up, huh? Do 40 seconds on one side, then 40 seconds on the other, because I just didn't think it would be enough to uh, split the movement in one, one set of reps. So guess what, you got the other side now. Good 15 second break though. Get some water, you'll hear a beep again, and then you start, okay? Mm. Okay, you ready? Again, you can hold it with two weights, or two hands, or no hands at all, 
or no weight at all. Right, the point's right. So let's say eight or six. Kim, you're on, hello. So nice to have you on here. Hope you're well. Hope everyone's well. Again, the whole thing can be done without weights. You do what you can. Okay? So the beauty of this is no one can see you. So you can be sitting on the couch drinking a beer right now. All set. Okay? All right. Goody. All right, squat twist. Get your heaviest weight or no weight at all, whatever you want. All right? Again, so many different ways to do this. So you're going to sit down and then twist right, then left. Here we go. Sit down, twist right, twist left, and up. I like to kind of actually hold this down here. Okay, if you're doing a different version, you're only coming to here, and that's cool. Like maybe you can't get all the way down. Cool, don't worry about it. Maybe you do this. Okay, whatever you want works. Make up your own variation. Do it slowly, do it safely. Do it with or without weights, does not matter. side to side. So you're just changing the arms. I want to get a little fancy. That one always trips me up. So good for the brain though. Crossing the midline of your brain. 
when your kids were little, they did a lot of this because, well, maybe not this quite, but they needed it for reading. Okay, take a break. Oh, goody, bear crawls are next. Okay. So, again, you don't want to do a bear crawl. Pull a mat out and crawl like this. But you have to do opposite arm to opposite leg. It just doesn't work any other way. Okay, otherwise you're up, inch off the floor, two, up, and up, and down, one, two, and up, okay? All this up, down drives the heart rate up. And you're using your body weight, right? Ooh. And the crawling is so good, again, for your balance, for your brain, okay, clears the cobwebs. I've got like spider's nest living in my brain. Whew. So these are so good for it. Woo! So guess what everybody, we are halfway there. Okay, you have another 15 second break and we start all over again. How's everyone doing? Grab water, sit it out if you want for a second or two, okay? All right, lunge tap back. And again, if you don't want weights at this point, don't use them. Okay, right leg back. Ah, from here. Try to get that right leg back as far as you can. Okay. You have lots of times to take your time. You're sounding like a moose like me. Okay. Take a little break. Get your water. Okay, as you know, I, I go through about 48 ounces during this workout, so of water. Mm. Do whatever you need to do. Okay, you're going to grab your weight. Do the other side. Here we go. Mm. Exhale as that knee comes up. Mm. Squeeze those shoulder blades behind you when you pull the weight up. Okay. Remember, no higher than an eight pound weight in here. It's not that I don't encourage you to lift weights heavier than that, but not in here. I love the strength training workout, but if I can't see you, we won't go by heavier than eight pounds. Okay, because then it gets like dangerous. Okay. Oblique. Again, I'm going to take my three pound weight. Okay. Lift the left, the right knee up. Turn the left heel out. Squeezing this. Oblique. Okay. And the whole side body. If it gets to be too much. You can keep the hands down here if you're holding the weight, that's fine. Keep it below shoulders and it won't burn so much. Hold it with two hands or drop the weight, whatever works. It's almost like you're doing a reverse chop here. You have 10 seconds left. Hey, we're already on the third set, people. Another 10 seconds to grab water if you want. Let me have another, actually 10 seconds now. Okay. All right, so grab your weight on the other side and let's go. Should I tell you? 25 seconds left. Again, 
take your time. Take a break if you need to. Sit and exercise out if you want to. Okay? Um, yeah, so the next one coming up is a squat twist. If you want to take a break, that's fine because it's not like, you know, some of them are two-sided, right? Like we just finished those side obliques. This one's just one-sided, right? There's only one of it, so if you want to sit it out, cool, dude. All right. You have another five seconds. That's a setup timer, so. All right, ready? Drop it, baby. Mm. Mm. Rely on those glutes to bring you back up, okay? Quads on the way down. <sighs> Gluteys on the way up. Can we say hi, stronger butt? <sighs> Drop down. Oh, mama. Okay. You probably have about three left. Okay. Here's three. It may only be two. Oh, it's going to be two. Good news. All right. Okay. I feel those in my booty. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, lateral reaches, three pounders, okay, here it goes, squatting to the right, here we go, squat and up, okay, let's use that knee, up, squat, up, squat, again, I'm using a three pound weight, okay, on this one, why? You ask, is these muscles here, these little front delts. Okay, now I'm opposite here. Um, aren't super large, so going for 45 seconds, kind of swishing this weight back and forth, kind of hard on a little two inch size muscle. Okay, all right, clearly I'm going opposite of what I said. Just find a pattern and follow it, okay. Bear crawls out your thing. 
15. Pull out your mat and crawl on the floor. Two. One. Two. So guess what we do when we are not going super fast? We're getting rid of momentum. Momentum definitely has its place in workouts, but not for today, not for this one. Okay? The slow grind is what I call it, right? When you have to really slow down. Okay? I'll give you an example in a second. Well, this is an example for sure. Ooh. Okay. But for instance, if you lift your leg up and you put it down, not a lot of energy going down. If you lift your leg up and you have to focus on bringing it down, guess how much more energy that takes? And everybody thinks, oh, it's slow. It's easier. No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. Grab your light weight. Oh my, oh no, grab your heavy weight. Lunge, tap back, right lead. Okay, last set people. 10 exercises and then we're done. Down, kick, kick, kick. Get that leg back as far as it will go. Squeeze those shoulder blades when you bend those elbows. Ah. Drop down. Woo. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. Take a break. You got the other side to do. Grab your weight. Let's get set up for the, the left side. Here we go. This is the last set of these of the day. Don't forget to stay for yoga. Oh. Ah. Mm. About 15 to 20 minutes of yoga, depending. Okay. It's usually really stretchy Oof. stuff, lots of breath work, Oof. okay? As I've said before, usually when I do a HIIT workout on my own, I do 15 minutes because, and I do 30 seconds on with a 90 second break because um, it can be really hard. But I wanted to make this, okay, here we go, more mainstream for everybody, okay? So don't ever feel like if 15 minutes wears you out, it wears me out too. So don't. Okay, side oblique is what I'm saying. You have to pass to work out for 15 minutes if you'd like, okay? Any exercise is good. <clears throat> Any form of movement. All right, so I have a question. What else do you want to see on this channel? Do you want to see stuff more about nutrition? Weight loss? Um, I'm over 50. Is anyone else? A couple of us are over 50, I know, but I, are most people over 40? Do you want to see stuff like that for women over 40? What do you want to see? Let me know, because I'm going to run out of content pretty quickly. I mean, I can keep teaching for sure, but uh, uh, let me know. Okay, switch. Please, on YouTube, leave us uh, leave a comment on there and let me know, okay? So when this is posted up to YouTube, please feel free to go there and comment on there. Okay, here we go. You can put it in your left hand now. Reach, right foot points right, pull. So again, I need your help with content. What do you want to see more of? So I have like almost, I think I have 45 videos up now. Is there another format you want to see? You want to see shorter? Do you want to see jumping? You want to see less intense? I have chair workouts coming for anybody that has limited mobility. And they're hard, let me tell you. They are hard. You have two more seconds? Oh, okay. 
take a little break. One second. All right, the next one. Squat with twist. Goody. Who's excited? Yay! It's going to end soon. Okay. Drop down. Twist. And again, you're not coming down that far. Cool. Don't worry about it. Step and twist. Okay? It doesn't have to be done with any sort of weight. As long as you feel like you are getting a workout. Okay? That is all that matters. We have five more exercises after this, and then we get to go and do some yoga if you're staying. All right, and then one more. All right, done. Done with that work. Piece of work there. Okay, next. I'm going to go ahead and get some water. And then you're going to take a lighter weight again. We're going to do that lateral squat and reach. We'll go to the right first. There we go. Right. Up. Left. Oh, four times a charm, I guess. Try to squeeze your shoulder blades behind you when you open up those arms. And take your time. Uh, open. Uh. <laughs> oh. mm. <sighs> the elbows are slightly bent. Okay, you have five seconds left. Here, last one. Okay, a little break. Oh, crab walks. Again, choose one or the other if you want. You can practice your crab walk. Fingertips towards the toes. Always, okay? Let's do it, baby. Butt up. Okay, walking it forward. Walking backwards. When you've had enough squat, flip over. Sit through. So right here, it looks like this, right? Okay? Opposite hand to opposite leg. Okay? And then sit backwards gently, fingertips forward, butt up, walk it. Okay? And then sit through again, down this way, flop, up, and flip. And flip. Okay? Alright. Uh-huh. Two jacks. Oh no! Oh my god, how did I miss this? It's warm to push-ups. Oh, I messed this up. Let's do it again. It's warm to push-ups. We haven't even done. Push the butt back. How did I miss this? Okay. Butt back. Alright, two push-ups, people. Elbows close to the body. Abs tight. Squeeze the glutes. Okay, and up. We may be doing a couple more of these, my friends. Like a couple more reps because I missed these completely. You don't mind, do you? Again, stick that butt back so you can feel it in the hammies and the glutes when you're coming down. Take a break. Oh, we're gonna do those again. Two jacks, two skaters. So move your mat out of the way. Yeah. Guess what? We're gonna pepper those in. All right. So jack, jack, skate. Jack, jack, skate. Okay. Jack, jack, skate. If you're putting your tapping your foot out, there's an extra tap between your jack. Here it is. See and your skate. If you're just doing this, that is the easiest way to get it. Not necessarily meaning it's any easier in terms of being like your difficulty level. 
Because if you're waving your arms through the air, you are working your abs, baby. Okay. Again, working in that frontal plane. Okay, the side to side that nobody usually works in. Unless you take a dance class. Alright, take a break. Bring your mat back, because guess what? We're doing your forms again to push-ups. Yep. Alright, ready? In form to push-ups. Here we go. Take the butt back, walk it down. Do your push-ups. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Chest goes close to the mat. Okay. Again, if you do them on your toes, awesome. I usually do these on my toes but with the band because I am still nursing. Ugh. A very weak shoulder from something I did three years ago. All right, here we go. Walk it down. But it is too much to get the band out in between because it has to hang from a beam. Just so you know. That is why I don't do them. Okay. All right. Move the mat out of the way. Bear crawls to stand up. Okay, and again, if you don't want to do that, get on your mat and just crawl, but you're crawling sideways, okay? So right arm and right knee move at the same time. One, two. Cross lateral movement. It's almost natural to do it that way, so try not to move the same arm and same leg, okay? It's actually really unnatural to do that, okay? Really works the abs. Really pretty much works everything. Okay. Okay, so if you're on your mat, you were crawling like this. Okay, you're coming to standing. That's cool. All right, again. Oh, maybe don't bounce on your knee like I just did. Okay. Oh, all right. Done with that. Now, last thing, my friends. Grab your mats again. Last one. Inchworm to push-ups and then we're done. Okay? There we go. Inchworms to push-ups. Push your butt back. Walk it down. Two push-ups here. Shoulders away from the ears. Squeeze the glutes. One. Walk it back. Add a hop if you want. Okay. One more. Okay. Woo! Okay. All right. We are all done. Thank you so much for joining me today here on the Healthy Hope. YouTube channel. Please, if there's anything you'd like to see, any different type of format, please feel free to leave me a comment, like the video, and subscribe if you'd like. All right, thanks so much and have a great day.